Well, welcome back to another week on Magpie Farm and another instalment for you all. Uh, it's been a quiet and a busy week. Uh, we've had a lot of cold weather over the last week, so that's limited the amount of work we've been able to do. But we are going to share with you on this week's video a number of our plans for the first couple of months of 2022 and also share with you some of the work that we've actually been doing when the weather has allowed. We'll also catch up with uh, our new addition Missy to see how she's getting on and of course we'll check in with the rabbits and with the runner ducks and the chickens and also take a quick look at the chick project to see how many did we actually hatch and how they're doing. So stick with us and see you in a moment. So Missy's doing really well. She still haven't had any of her jabs yet though, because they put on a second course of antibiotics. But you're doing well, are you? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Back to the vet on Thursday where she has a scan, because believe it or not, we think she may be pregnant. Mm, let's hope she isn't. <laughs> let's hope she isn't. So the chickens are doing okay. And we've decided we've got two cockerels from the last batch. These two over here. Definitely this one, because this one I seen covering one of the girls this morning. So we think we've got two cockerels. Mongrel cockerels? <laughs> but still, cockerels. And the ducks are doing really well, although I'm not sure they're enjoying the cold weather. Especially when the uh, cold freezes up. And a big thank you to Debbie for suggesting this tape. We've got some of this uh, multicoloured tape that also makes a noise when the wind blows. It's easier to see on the fencing, which I'll show you now. And that seems to help quite a bit. We haven't had any predator attacks from hawks or eagles. Uh, since we put the tape up, so you can see the tape there. Basically, bought over a roll, cost about ten pounds, a few more. And I've been altering some this morning, as you can see, that's where the little step ladders in there. And the final scores on the doors. We had 11 eggs in the incubator and nine successfully hatched. So we've got three projects on the go at the moment. We've got the new poly tunnel. Uh, we've made some really good progress on that. We've got the goat enclosure we're starting to make some progress on that uh, because again, that is a spring type uh, project that will come to fruition, as they say, because hopefully we'll have the goats uh, by the spring. We're looking at again initially uh, two to three goats. Uh, we haven't decided yet fully on the final breed. They will be milk goats that we do know. And also we've got the internal ensuite upstairs in the main bedroom that we're trying to get some work done on as well. So fingers crossed, uh, these will start to make some serious progress. We have made progress on a number of them 
as you will see from the video. And just a reminder, if you're watching our videos for the first time and you haven't liked and subscribed, it would really help us if you could do so. Also, please consider sharing our video links because that helps us immensely as well to spread uh, the work we're doing and uh, spread a bit of joy, hopefully. And hopefully people don't make the same mistakes that we show you that we make as we go along. So we've just managed to clear the area and trim it all back, ready for the new poly tank. Things are moving forward, our progress is being made, our plans are starting to come together. Okay, and as you can see, we've uh, started work on the new poly tunnel project. Marios has been working very hard in getting the first two bits of the end pieces, should I say, already. We're going to be starting to prepare the area that they're going in, but first he wanted to get this part of it actually done. So, hopefully, by this time next week, we'll have the new poly tunnel up. At the moment, it's, a, it's quite a nice day. It's chilly, but the sun is shining. And whilst we had high hopes the weather would stay with us, we managed to get the basic frame of the poly tunnel together. But the weather wasn't quite with us. We did make some more progress and we will update everybody on the poly tunnel build at the next week video. But for now, we switched to the goat shelter build. So we are super, super stoked. We are happy. <laughs> We've managed to get the frame done on the new poly tunnel. So that is a major achievement considering we've got snow on the ground as well. And we're also starting work on the goat enclosure, the goat shelter for outside. We're doing it via a uh, pallet build. And sorry if the uh, light is a little bit low in here. So hopefully we'll be able to show you the progress that we're going to be making on the goat shelter. So the plan is for the outside goat shelter, as we mentioned earlier. So that's going to be pallet built and have some sloping uh, plastic corrugated type uh, roof on there. But for the internal goat shelter, which will be mainly for the bad winters that we sometimes have over in Poland, we're going to be using this. So the plan is that we're going to be moving all the hay, sorry, straw, that's all here, over to this side. And then there is a bit of a dividing wall already there. You can see part of it coming out. And then all this area will be enclosed for goats and basically a birthing area. So we're hoping to divide this up uh, into two sections, if not maybe three sections. So the idea being that the goats will have access through to here, through these double doors that we need to do a bit of TLC on. And obviously the barn needs a bit of a tidy up as well. But that is the plan. And that is again the plan, uh, a summer plan, spring, summer on this particular area. Uh, primarily to get ready then for the next coming winter of the end of 2022, early 2023. I can't believe we're even planning that far ahead, but sometimes you just have to. So, yep, yeah, so that's going to be the plan there to get that done. So we'll have a birthing area for breeding of the goats and delivery of the kits, kids, sorry, uh, and uh, a place for them for the winter area. And now onto the goat shelter build. We were super excited to get this done because this allows us to move forward with actually getting the goats. 
Ah, right. Yeah, let's have a look uh, how we're going to get this done, hopefully. Uh, the front will be open. Yeah. Uh, we could do, but I was just thinking, because the front is open, because it's a shelter for them to come into, because when it's, the winter is really bad, they'll be going in the barn itself. What do you think? Yeah. You don't look convinced? No, yeah? Because this will be like a shelter for them spring to autumn, really. Yeah? In this area. I know we still got to finish the fencing, but it's only a little bit of the fencing left to do. But they'll make short work of all of this grass and all that. They'll, that'll keep, they'll keep this down quite nicely. <laughs> Are you cold? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. So I still suggest that we block off part of the wind so they feel more comfortable in the night even even if it's summer. Yeah. For example. Because the entrance doesn't need to be large and No, I yeah. suppose it doesn't. Yeah. This. But it needs to be tall enough for me to be able to get in there. Well, it will be tall. Yeah. You see, that will be the entrance. Roughly. Yeah, we need to check the size of these that we're using the same size pallets to be able to. Yeah, well, this is Euro pallet. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so yeah, that will be the entrance. Okay. That's that where it goes, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but what about uh, for the human? Because two, two up, you still need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. I, uh, that's okay, bending down. Because what I'd suggest. We, if we wasn't going to put a front on, I would suggest we have just two support pillars. You understand? Oh, no, no, it won't be necessary. No? No. There's no need for support. All we need is the uh, parking going across, really. Okay, and the roof, we're going to get the... Because we do really want the roof to be slanting a bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, but preferably like that. To slant yeah. like that. If it slants at the front, the water's going to come down the yeah, front. Yeah. If it slants... To the, side. to the side then that should be all right shouldn't it because yeah. it'll just come down there and it won't come otherwise every time they come through the door they're going to get wet and what i've read is goats do not like to get wet <laughs> they love the heat they can manage the cold but they don't like to get wet okay. i wouldn't suggest we put anything on the ground other than straw yeah just straw will go on the ground in there and if need be, because the sides are open so, a bit. So this, this, this placement will make the door still able to open if need be enough, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, Let's get cracking then, is it? So you want to um, attach the whole outline to be uh, already... Yeah, so two, and then two up. So we yeah, need to check them. Pallets, so I, I think we like, may, I think we yeah. may. So we've got two there so we need another four five. we need another five pallets no because i thought if we're going to get that corrugated well it's not corrugated it's the plastic slopey stuff you know what we've seen in castorama yeah 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 why not because it'll it'll make it a lot easier i mean yeah okay and i what i would suggest is then We'll need one pallet cut in half, so this side is higher, so it slopes, or whatever way, whichever side we want it to slope. Yeah? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. 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 Let's have a look then for some more pallets. Uh, so we I need... Have, I have one I need for attaching to the wall, but I would need a extension here. I don't know if we have long enough to, to start oh. from here. And I don't really know if we should be drilling into that. Do we have to go against the wall? Do we have to attach it to the wall? I don't think we do, do we? Well, it has to stand, yeah? 
Yes. Yeah, but it'll be connected. If we connect those together. Yeah, if we do connect the tops, by all means, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd prefer us not to drill into there because that wall is not exactly the most, you know. Okay, fair enough. Yeah? Because it needs repointing, the whole barn wall does, doesn't it, really? Repointing? Yeah. As in, putting cement in between the bricks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah where it's come out. I think that's going like to be a... Plastering, kind of. Yeah, yeah it's like, no, cement. It goes in between the the bricks. Not from the wind for all these years. Yeah, right? exactly, yeah. exactly. But if we get that done, the barn will last a lot longer. Yeah. Otherwise, the bricks are just going to become loose and fall out, like they've done in some of the places. You've seen by the, by the door of the barn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This wind is bloody destructive, isn't it? Yeah, you know, you know. Anyway, so we need, let's just check, we need two more pallets there. Four, five. Wait, no, we don't need five. Oh, yes, we do. We need five more pallets. We need six more pallets. Then in that case, we need it sloping towards the other way, since this is the entrance, yes? Yeah. Uh, because it will be higher by half pallet, it will be easier to deal with when you get into that. You need, don't need to lean as much down, you know what I mean? Okay, yes. okay so then. You can, you can stand a little bit Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you know, whatever whatever you do with uh, hay or stuff, you, yeah. you still get to this exit and here, it will be a little bit taller than it is there. So okay. I think that's the best. Okay, great. Okay, so six more pallets we need then. Because yeah. one pallet to be cut in half. Yeah. And then it's seven in that case. No, 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 no. Two, four, five, and another one that's going to be cut in half. And remember, we have those offcuts of the MDF board. They may be useful. Mm, yeah. We could put those in the back if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah, okay, all right then. All right, let's search for some more. So, you found something? Look at those as well. Yeah, yeah. These are good as well to use, I yeah. suppose. Well, anything that can. Uh... I suppose, I say suppose too much. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so we need six more pallets. There is two down by the heating, outside in the heating thing. I have one here with a mind. Yeah, that one can go on to there, so that's three. Is there, I think there's some of... this is not Euro pallet, mind. That's a different. That's not a Euro yeah, pallet. Yeah, so maybe maybe let's stick to Euro pallet first. Well, you could use that one for the front, can you? Look at this one. It's a bit wrecked. It is very wrecked, mind. Yeah. Can be used as a oh look at those here yeah, as well. So yeah, yeah. You can use them as supports or something. Yeah, sort. yeah, yeah. Right, so we need six. There's two down there. Is there no is there no no balance in there? Okay, let's have a look out in here. There's a uh, half a pallet and it's not two of them. Well, we've got a small bit of a pallet there. We didn't use any pallets over here. Well, uh, yeah, but all the pallets are in use. But they are rather necessary. Yeah, they are. They are. Like you could probably use, but it's not a very good one, that one isn't. It's, it's far from. Yeah. They, they're all different. The only two of them are Euro pallets, really. Okay, so we got two, so we need another four then. So I guess go and talk nicely to the neighbour if he's got any. He has. Okay. Uh, right, I'll leave you to go and talk to the neighbour. And in the smokers room, which we don't use. In there, you mean? Yeah. Uh, right here. Yeah. Oh, we've got to go three. Yeah, if you wanna move the stuff off. Oh, let's move these bricks off. There's one, yeah, I would keep those in there. Uh, even the old one. What, well, yeah. Oh, look, yeah, there's a pallet. Where? Oh, God, oh, that's heavy. No, I can't, I can't carry it. I can't carry it on my own. And that one hasn't got, what? it's got a board on it. It's fine. It's even better. <laughs> okay. It's a board already, which we're going to have to put either way. You know okay. That? Right. Because we need to protect them from the wind, innit? Yeah. <laughs> So we have 
three pallets. We need all these three. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's get the lighter one. Huh? Like hmm? Hmm? Can I get the lighter one? Yeah, well, let's get the trolley that I used before. That's fine. Oh, I see what you mean. Can you, uh, can you go to the other side, yes? Well, if I just... Oh, no, lay, lay down this uh, warp top. Okay. And come on further over the hay without damaging it. Okay. Okay. Because don't forget, we've also we've also got that that we could put on. Yeah, this is why we need pallets on top. Yeah. Well. Hmm. I'd say get those two sheets because they're for the rabbit tractors we're going to be using. Grab that then, love. I think this is originally for moving hay. Yeah, that is. I bet you that's probably around a hundred years old. Hundred years old, but it's still kicking, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. I wonder if I'll be still kicking when I'm a hundred years old. Uh, I wonder. Nobody will. Well, what do you mean nobody? Lots of people live to hundred. In Japan, mainly. You know, it's not very helpful if you don't... Oh, look! Look what they forgot. Ah. The measure, the measuring tape. Go on! Okay. Right. Crack on. Unfortunately, we found out after doing uh, the editing and pulling over the files from the camera and the phone that one of the main files was corrupted. The start of the goat shelter project where we actually put the basic structure together. So forgive us. We jump forward a little bit to the following day on the next clip now and you'll see we've put the basic structure together. Well, welcome back. Another day, and we continue with the goat project. Uh, but we had to think about it last night, what the options were, because we priced up the sheet in to go across the top. And it worked out not overly expensive, but we thought, well, is there an alternative that we could do? Now, some time ago, I ordered these. Now, these are waterproof and quite long and have rings in them. So what we've decided to do, isn't it Marios, is we're gonna put a lot more battens across the top and actually spread this for two reasons. 
one being that it'll also cover the sides and keep a bit more draft out as well. Uh, hopefully when we get the goats they won't eat it. <laughs> uh, we shall see. But if not we can always replace it with uh, the, the, yeah, the actual panels. But for now we're going to get cracking we're going to get some more of the battens on and we're going to put this on and see how it looks. So stick with us and we'll see how we get on. Okay, that's it. I can't give you any more. You can't? No. Right, so it isn't then going to cover the both sides. Yeah. Okay, it. but it's it, it, it getting down to see it. Okay, that's covering that side and it goes to there. That's and look, okay. And this going straight yeah. is also to the end of the plant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. <coughs> okay, that's fine. Because we've got the other stuff that we can put on the outside of this. We can put it back and across the end here. Well, no, not only that, I'm talking about the cover. Yeah, yeah. Any draft here, yeah. we've got bits of wood that we won't need to use now on that side because we're going to use that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So we at least know it fits perfectly on one side and it's where the rings are. Do we want to open it up? No, no, because we will risk breaking it. Okay, okay. We want it intact. All right, then. All let's, right, let's go. Okay, let's get the buttons. Okay, I would like. Basically, we've got the old battens that were on the roof before we had the roof replaced on the main farmhouse. Uh, more than sturdy enough, uh, so we don't know if we've got enough. We've cut them to the size we want, so we're going to see, putting them on, how many more we'll actually need. Probably, I reckon, about another two, three, half yeah. Minutes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's what I'm waiting for. Right, on the top. Okay. Do you want this? No, no, I use the I use the black one. to 
use longer screw then because if it splits well actually whatever it's fine come on can you check another one please yeah how is this button is it okay okay ish ish yeah ish is too little no So we then finished putting the beams uh, across the top and then we proceeded to the front bit which is actually put in the tarpaulin over the top of the structure which we had fun with. Okay so do we want to put the things on the sides now? Some of these? No I think we should put the thingy first. Oh. Well, we're going to put ones on this side, yeah? And on by here. Because it's not going to cover here, so we'll need something to cover the wind here and there. Uh, yeah, one. we'll get to this. Let's get the roof. Oh. Okay, hold well on. That's why I'm going to hold it myself. Okay. Yeah, you found just enough for yourself, for the wall. Okay? Okay. And let me unfold it. Thank you very much. What? Oh god, we need. Yeah? You do it single layer, don't you? Yeah. Double would be sufficient for the whole length, wouldn't it? You didn't try it, did you? You just hand on it? Yeah. We don't cooperate on this, do we? But you're not telling me. I was me saying to you, undo the part on your left. Look, look, help me here, please, because it's blowing. Try to see if it folded in half, if it's enough for the whole roof. Is it? Right. No, don't pull it. I have it here. No, it's not it. enough for the whole roof. Okay, right. here we are then. Part of it will be doubled over, a part of it won't. So it's probably really silly to do this without anything to secure it down. <laughs> you point it up, point it down. So we managed to actually finish putting the roofing on. Uh, unfortunately, the battery ran out. So this is a, about 30 minutes later after the recharge on the old camera. And as you can see, we are just fitting the final panel. And here's the finished product as they say basically cost around 10 pounds which is around 50s lote or so to make and that was basically the plastic covering on the top and everything else was scrap pieces of wood and pallets so we think that will be good enough for a spring, summer, autumn shelter for the goats so we still got a few little things to do inside where we'll be putting some feeding trays and things like that and it butts against the back 
of the barn and there'll be straw then going on the floor for them but mainly it'll keep out the wind and should hopefully keep out the rain as well so tell us what you think not bad for around 10 pounds and a bit of work